There's really not a lot you actually need to know about prompt engineering. This is about as complicated as it gets for practical use. Okay, so when you put the hashtag sign and then one space at the beginning of a line, the rest of that line will look like a heading in ChatGPT's eyes. The reason why is something called markdown, but you don't need to know what that is. Just know that headings are extremely useful when you have to give ChatGPT multiple sources of information. Like in paralegal school, they had us write a legal memo about a current case in the news. They also gave us examples of A-plus papers. So you begin your prompt by explaining what information will be in the headings you're going to give it. I will give you a sample format and a news article. Then tell it what you want it to do. Write a legal memo in the style of the sample format, applying only information from the news article. Below that, we're going to write a hashtag and then a space to make a heading called sample format. Then copy paste an A-plus paper. Underneath that, make another heading that says news article. Then just copy paste the news article and you're done. Okay, that's great, but what do we do if we have a ton of different kinds of information? Let's write a grant application as an example. So again, we start by explaining the headlines and telling it what to do. I will give you some grant guidelines and a fact pattern. Write a grant application according to the guidelines using only information from the fact pattern. Then we give it the grant guidelines so it gets the format right. Now we'll make a heading that says fact pattern, but we have to give it all kinds of things like info about your nonprofit, your budget, and what you'll do with the money. So here we'll make a subheading, which you can do by writing two hashtags in the space. You can call it about us and give it info about your nonprofit from your site or whatever. Then make another subheading called budget with your budget. I'll stop there, you get the idea. If you wanted to make a sub subheading, you would use three hashtags in the space and so on. 